Hey, it's Sebastian from the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I am joined by... Boris Billing from Brimstone, Australia. Amazing to be chatting to you today. Can you give us a little bit of a brief introduction about your band, Brimstone, and your inspirations? Absolutely, man. Uh, so, uh, Brimstone, at its core, uh, we're a two-piece, so it's myself. Um, I'm the vocalist and the drummer yeah. uh, for Brimstone, so I write and record the drums. Uh, and live, uh, I go out the front as the front man vocalist, and we we bring in a live band when we do live stuff. My other partner in crime is uh, Pete Black, Peter Black. Uh, he's my uh, lead guitarist, but when we record, uh, Pete's uh, basically everything else that's not guitar and drums, right? So rhythms, uh, bass, you know, sequence stuff. Uh, he's he's very talented in the studio with programming. Um, and editing, so uh, we we write and record everything together, and then we bring in um, a rhythm guitarist, a bass player, and a drummer for our live gigs. Wow, that's amazing! So you don't like sort of fancy having a full band? It's just going to be the two of you. That's Brimstone. That's the core, yeah. There in the ship, man. Yeah, yeah. We uh, Pete and I are best mates. We go back a long way, um, playing in other bands, and basically, Brimstone was born as a as a bedroom project. We just wanted to uh, reconnect with each other um, about fifteen years ago, and just just write music together, and and that's how it started. And then we 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 entertained the idea of of, of giving it a live vehicle, and uh, we we've, we've had a hell of a lot of fun with that. That's for sure. <laughs> And Come Off the Iceman is hugely addictive. In fact, I have to sometimes travel an hour and a half to get to work, and it kept playing on repeat. You know, sometimes like when yeah. you get on your you just kept repeating. I was, I, was like, I was happy with that. But it is. It's an amazing song. How pleased are you then with the feedback so far to that video as well? I mean, that looks like a lot of fun as well. Yeah, man. Thank, thank you for the kind words. Um, Come Off the Iceman, Pete and I wrote that song, uh, believe it or not, about a decade ago. Uh -huh. And we've always, we, we, like, you say that now and that that just proves to us, like, we still think it's a catchy song, it's an earworm, it's a great riff, and mm -hmm. it just, it gets you. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, and we're getting that, what what you've just said, we're, we're hearing that a lot, which which we we thought we had, but, you know, you, you get too close to this stuff, right? Especially yeah. after 10 years, it's just like, Oh, how's the new song go? Well, well, it's not that new, really. But, <laughs> but, but you know, it's I'm, yeah. I'm really, really pleased with, you know, we've released it properly. Um, you know, we have management, we have a label, yeah. and uh, it, it, the whole promotion machine is is working really well. We're getting great responses um, for Cometh the Ice Man, and um, yeah, we loved that making that video. That was a lot of fun. We did that in an uh, abandoned um, paint warehouse in Brisbane. In Queensland, Australia, yeah. uh, a lot of film clips are shot there now. It's a bit of a cult sort of a place, right? Um, create, but I think I think we sort of captured the uh, the story of that that song. You know, the message is is sort of based around you know ice addiction, which is a worldwide problem, mm -hmm. and I, I think we sort of created that um, in that style. But you can take what you want out of that, really. Cam doesn't get released then until. November, that's a long way yeah. off actually. I'm surprised to get an interview this early, um, but that's great. How excited then or impatient are you waiting for the release? Yeah, a bit of both, man. Um, it's uh, I got the schedule through from management and the label, and, and and as I said, you know, these things take time, although this one seems to be taking a long time. But mm. um, that being said, uh, you know, come at the Iceman was uh, released two months ago now. Right. Um, we've, since Iceman, uh, last month we released our second single, uh, Forever No More, and we've, we've dropped a, a film clip for that too. Yeah. We are dropping another three singles. Oh, yeah. Between now. Yeah, so we got five singles off this album, um, wow. and they're all uh, really different. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we're just giving that time to breathe. Um, I, I'm really blown away. At, like as we're talking now, Seb, we're over something stupid like a hundred and three thousand streams on Spotify for two songs. That's amazing. We're just Pete, Pete, Pete and I just we're just 
shaking our heads. It's just, it's yeah. crazy, man. Like we're so humbled by that. Thank you yeah. to everyone who's who's checked it out. Um, and, the, and the YouTube videos are getting smashed too. They're they're about, I, I don't know, about half that amount of, of video yeah, views. Yeah. So people... I'm a YouTuber. I'm not really in a Spotify at all, um, but I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. So yeah, you've been getting like a lot of, a lot of hits. It's getting a lot of love, which which is great. I mean, people want to. I'm with you, man. Like, I like a visual. I, I still yeah. like the artwork. Um, yeah. We've released a lot of artwork. We've, we've yeah. got a lot of merch ideas. Um, all all of that stuff's coming along. So I guess, in a long winded answer, it, the extra time's been good to really yeah. sort of get that stuff, you know, where we want it. Get a focus on it, sort of thing. Yeah, I was going to ask you yeah. about the artworks. I'm very much into artwork, album artwork, and everything like that. Um, that would make quite an awesome tattoo. I mean, I'm covered on my arms now. But maybe a back tattoo, the album cover. That's something you'd thought. Of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Well, Pete, Pete and I are, you know, we're with you, man. We're we're covered, man. Yeah. To, to, head to toe. It's uh, and and for us, you know, it's uh, we we love our Harleys, we love our beer, we love our metal, yeah, yeah. And we love our tattoos. So yeah. every bit of artwork, we said we want something that you want to get tattooed or get on a yeah, shirt. Exactly. You exactly. know. And and I think I think we've nailed that brief pretty well from from the feedback we're getting. So that's nice to hear. Thank you. No worries, man. Are you guys planning on having a release party? And if you do, do you plan to stream it so we can all see it? Yeah, we're we're working that out at the moment. Um, there's there's a few balls in the air, but absolutely, um, we 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 will do that. We will definitely uh, work out a way to stream that, and, and yeah. whether that's in uh, Brisbane or Sydney or Melbourne, somewhere over here. Um, we're, we're still playing those cards um, and, and working with with venues and management on that. But we will we will sort something out. Because November's um, sorry, November's like right, yeah. November's like summertime over there, isn't it for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're just at the end of winter now, although it's quite pleasant, you know, t shirt yeah. and shorts at the moment. So it's yeah. quite good. It's quite good. So you can have it like outside barbecue. Your kangaroo, Absolutely. your kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, by. yeah. Fields burning in the background. That that's never been done. You know, jump on the back of a car and crank out some riffs. You know, something like that. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. That'd be cool. Yeah, we'll work. Right. We'll work it out. We'll work yeah. it out. We'll work it what, out. So, what about uh, plans, festival, and tour wise? I mean, is the band your full time occupation, or is it sort of like extra to your work life? Like, like uh, I think ninety. Five percent of musicians, man. We've all we've all got to have our day gigs. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, we we it's an absolute passion to us, as as I know it is for you. Yeah. And man. and most most people in the industry, um, we um, we certainly uh, we've had a lot of um, opportunities offered to us tour wise, especially mm. in in your neck of the woods this year. Yeah. But obviously the the planets have to align, right? For, for 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 that to work on a on a on a home level, yeah, um, you know, on a family level, on a on a financial level, and and on a on, just on a day to day level with the other guys, you know, absolutely, we've got to be able to put that together. But it's been really good. Uh, it's nice to see the offers coming in. That's the, it's nice, you know. We've had yeah. offers to play. I, look, I'm going to say four um, pretty goddamn awesome European metal festivals this year. Really, um, a, a crazy opening support for a a huge metal band, um, and and look, as I said, the planets will align. Um, will. I, I think next year, man, it'll it'll be okay. The album will be out. We'll have more traction behind us. More people will know the stuff, and yeah. we've we've got time to plan for that. So that's what that's what we're doing right now, brother. That sounds good. So what about um, in Australia itself? I mean, are there a lot of Opportunities to get out touring and from where you live. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, there's at the moment um, everyone's touring Australia, so <laughs> it's great. So um, for us on a manageable level, we're applying for a lot of stuff, right? And and we and we we're doing well. We're we're getting a lot of gigs. We we uh, like in the last six months, um, we've uh, supported the Night Flight Orchestra. Right. Yeah. Uh, we did them in August 2023. We did Metal Church in right. December. That was awesome. Uh, a lot of fun and you know great dudes. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
And and in April this year, we um, opened up for suffocation and revocation. That was insane, wow. man. That was, wow. That was great. I mean, they're <laughs> worlds apart musically from, course, yeah. from, Brim, from Brimstone. But you know what? Um, I think metalheads are, are, are music fans and, and it, exactly. it, it, it worked. It totally worked. Exactly, man. All right. Yeah. So what would you say then is, um, sorry, who would you say would be the ultimate bands, three bands to go on a tour with around the world? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's, uh, well, let's say uh, Metallica, Black Label Society and Alice in Chains. Oh, that's good, yeah. Old Alice in Chains yeah. or new Alice in Chains? Oh, man. They're both great. I mean, you and know, they are actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we'd have to go the OG, but damn, the the, the new lineups working really well. It really is, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But then, then I'm actually, I'm going to have to throw in, you know, Motorhead and Sabbath and ACDC <laughs> now, just just yeah. because, you know, I've got got Le- Lemmy and and Ozzy. Yeah, right Ozzy. There. Yeah, that's a good shirt. Okay. I like that. I like that. Man. Have, awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, but hey, look, we're uh, on a you know, on a, on a touring level, like um, we're really hoping early 2025 we're going to tour the album around Australia, and then we'll be focusing our sights um, on on the European, UK scene and and the US scene um, middle of next year. So that's that's the plan, man. That's amazing because I mean, um, Art Great, sorry, Art Records are actually based in Spain as well, aren't they? So they they've got the European market, so. That's yeah, I, I, yeah. So we we did the deal, uh, the record deal with Art Gates Records in Spain. Mm. Uh, they've been amazing. That they've, they've been they really are. good with the promotion machine. They're pushing mm. us really hard, mm. um, and and they do welcome you into the family. It's it's been uh, it's been really good. It's been really yeah. good with between those guys and our management, um, which is Extreme Management Group in the US. We've uh-huh. got a we've got a really good uh, global uh, footprint. Presence. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah. It's that, working man. well. That's working great. Well. You know. All right, um, so what's the most memorable concert you've played at then so far as Brimstone? Oh, dude, um, Suffocation was pretty special. That right. was that was great just to, you know, we were pretty nervous just because of the st- such massive stylistic differences. Difference. And, yeah. and we, we didn't know if the crowd was going to, Love us or kill us, you know. <laughs> Technical death metal and and you know classic metal slash heavy rock guys. Um, yeah. But but that was that was a lot of fun. Um, that yeah. was great. But I guess uh, I mean all, you know metal church and and nightclub orchestra had their own special moments too. A lot of them. But I guess moving back a few years earlier um, in 2016, we opened up for Sebastian back, uh, and Sebastian that back. was. Man, that was amazing. I know you're a big fan. I saw that, uh, yeah. and that that was pretty special. Man, got a got a big high five from the big fella. You know, he goes, "That was yeah. sick, guys. Well done!" I was like, Bang! He nearly nearly pulled my arm off. You know, but it was um, that he was cool, that. man. He He's does. a great dude. Yeah, it was it was awesome. He's that was so a big passionate, mate. Honestly, he uh, is. Yeah, he was genuine. <laughs> it was it was. If he wasn't, man, he fooled me. So you know. I mean. I've seen him live about three or four times, right? Um, I remember going to see yeah. him in Newcastle and it was like a shithole venue. Anyway, yeah. I was at the front and he kept grabbing my hand all the way through, all the way through like this, like this. And this guy yeah. asked me, you motherfucker, why is he not doing that to me? And then this twat start pulling his mic and so Sam's like, yeah, you fucking stop that. <laughs> Brilliant. That was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, he said, well, that's why, because you're a yeah. dickhead. Yeah, just... and my wife, my wife, man, honestly, my wife, like, I mean, she was 10 years older than me, and she passed on now from cancer about 10 years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, but man. I remember you, honest to God. Now, Alison wasn't the most attractive woman in the world, not being a, you know, those beautiful lasses in the audience. This is in Glasgow. And Seb, I swear to God, he sung I Remember You, looking into her eyes nearly the entirety of the song, and she was in floods. Beautiful. Man. It was, it was yeah. yeah. He's an amazing, amazing guy, honestly. So I'm glad That's you a had a good story. I'm glad you, had a good, story. glad you had a good experience with him, mate. Honestly. Oh man, he was great. He was really good. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, no, that was pretty special. That was pretty special. Yeah. <laughs> All right, talking about special. I'm going to ask you, obviously, about ACDC. Um, I spoke to Chris Slade about three or four weeks ago. 
I mean, he's the old drummer of Fraser's Edge, and he's still playing. I don't know how he manages. I mean, I can just about manage to lift the pole. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what I mean? He's <laughs> So when he's still it's just playing, in his DNA, man. It's just yeah, in his man. DNA. But, it, but, I mean, ACDC is still selling out arenas and festivals. Um, just yeah. a massive tour. What's your feelings on that? That's just amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's epic. It's Well, Metallica's doing – I mean, they're younger, obviously. But, yeah. I, I mean, ACDC, to be still the monster that they are, it just proves um, people want the songs, man. They've yeah. got the songs. They do their thing. Um, and and they're absolutely amazing. I mean, Phil Rudd uh, would would it, personally for me as a drummer. Uh, I, I just he is one of my favourite drummers of all time. Just hit that backbeat, cool yeah. swagger, man. He's yeah. almost off the beat. He's that uh, cool on it, you know. With the cigarette, he's he's awesome, man. Like, I mean, those guys are just you cannot touch them you know they're, they're they're amazing i mean bon scott's one of my favorite singers i mean i love all the i love that they've had to adapt and and yeah. they've adapted really well and they've done it really well Absolutely. um you know brian's done a brilliant job angus is still smashing it you know they're uh, cliff's back in the mix you know it's yeah. um it's amazing stuff it really it really is, it really to, is. something to behold it's they're a behemoth they're amazing even, even axel rose pulled it off as well didn't he i was surprised when he got in that he did it you know, very I'm respectfully happy. too, I think. Yeah, yeah very much. Yeah, so. that's a, that that surprised me a bit, but yeah. he uh, he did a great job. He, he did, did a great job. I, did, I agree with you. I thought he did. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's it's epic, man. And look, I look at those guys, and you know, when Pete and I write uh, Brimstone songs, we're we're thinking about moving stadiums. Like that's what mm. we want to. We want to move rooms. We want to we want to write songs and riffs. Uh, mm. And rhythms that that people just you know yeah. we want tens of thousands of people just yes you know doing doing that and and it's all about connection for us it, it always has been man and I mean if if we connect with you or we connect with a two hundred seater room or or a full stadium man we're we're, we're there we're there Absolutely. that's that's, that's what Absolutely. it's about Absolutely. That's, that's humanity and it is I mean there's been some there's some amazing bands. Out of Australia, I mean, I was a big fan of a band called Mammoth Mammoth. So yeah, like, do, do metal, and they're yeah. really hilarious. I like them. Um, Zodiac, Zodiac Wrecking Machine, but I think they only got one album, and they've sort of disappeared off the face of the earth. Have you heard of them? Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're doing too much to the moment. I've heard from wrong. For years. Yeah, I've heard from for years. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, right. hopefully, Brims, hopefully, Brimstone can uh, fly the flag. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally, absolutely. Um. Okay. So, is there like a we loads? Is there a particular song though that you wish you had written? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, so many. <laughs> no. uh, okay, so uh, let's say, um, well, Killed by Death, Motorhead. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually one of my favourite Motorhead songs. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Ride On, ACDC, Bomb oh, Scott yeah. Days. Yeah, yeah. Just on, on the mellow side, love that one. Uh, I don't know, and uh, let's say For Whom the Bell Tolls, why not? Absolutely. That's going to pay for a few schooners. Sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. can you then remember the first time you ever picked drum sticks and thought, yeah, I want to do this as a career? you remember? Absolutely. I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, I was six years old. I was at a family barbecue, and my uncle, um, incidentally, Uncle Rocker, uh, he's, uh, he's a left-handed drummer, self-taught. Right. Um, and he was always into ACDC and Credence, Clearwater Revival, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all those old rock bands. Um, and I was at a family barbecue, just mesmerised by him playing. I was just like, uh, you know, <laughs> a, sh a shadow. And he said, yeah. oh, you know, get up, get up. And anyway, we just literally swapped the hi-hat around because I'm yeah. a righty. And uh, it just started playing straight away. And that, that was that. I was just hooked straight away. So... Uh, not long after that, mum and dad bought me a little kit. I uh, had a little record player back there, and my mates would come around and we'd play 
yeah, ACDC, Credence, uh, old surf rock, the old wipeout stuff, you know, yeah. all that sort of gear. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, mo moved on from there, but ne never looked back. Just sort of moved up through the rock and the metal stuff uh, <laughs> as I progressed as a little grommet, I guess. <laughs> Do you remember the first yeah. album then that you ever brought? Uh, I believe it was actually uh, John Fogarty, uh, Centerfield. Okay. Yeah, um, as a as a cassette. Okay, I yeah, cassette. Yeah, with my with my own money, but I, I used to steal. Or I'm so I'm the youngest of four, right. and uh, I was lucky that yeah, my brothers and my older sister uh, were into uh, they were into Dire Straits, um, ACDC, um, all, all of the '80s synth pop stuff, which was really interesting. I got a lot of pop sort yeah. of stuff there, which was cool. Yeah, I, I still really good. like all that. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, same. Mate. Um, Susie Quattro. There was a yeah. lot of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. And as and and back to my parents um, before yeah. that, you know the the sixties rockabilly stuff. The, the mum and dad were always dancing at home. Yeah. You know, dad would be swinging mum around the de <laughs> around the lounge room. You know that old nice. rock and roll, yeah. rock hall dance stuff. They were they were great with all that. So there's always music in in my house growing up. Um, and that, I'm, I'm very um, grateful you know and, for, and fortunate to have grown up in that environment yeah there's always music in mind but it was the ELO and ABBA I hate ABBA <laughs> well my my, si my sister played a lot of ABBA I yeah. hate ABBA yeah <laughs> <laughs> well my, my wife and my daughters love it they, they play a lot of it still so I just go down the back and you know play Sepultura or something headphones <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah okay. for sure if if there was um, actually sorry back to the album. So how what formats is it getting released on? You, you mentioned cassettes. Is it actually going to be on cassette? Because they're sort of like coming back, aren't they? Well, they they seem to be. Um, God knows why. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't get it. Um, I, I, look, I it, it's certainly going to be in in all the digital platforms. Yeah. Um, I look, I'm fairly sure we're going to have it on CD. Right. Um, vinyl, I'd love to do, but once yeah. again, Money. you know, the dollars, man. Yeah. Um, may, maybe, maybe the next one. You know, if this yeah. one goes all right, we'll see. But um, yeah. I, I think we will have um, some CDs available via Artgates Records. That'd be good. Um, and as I said, all the, all the digital platforms, and and they'll have um, a pretty extensive merch merch um, offer there as well. Definitely, that's good. So yeah, again, then we're going to be based in Spain. I'm hoping that the shipping won't be too bad from Spain because it just cost a fortune from Australia. But yeah, yeah, be yeah, they'll be. So we'll uh, we're we're going to do a yeah. It, that's yeah. right. It'll be a lot a lot more affordable from your end, and that's that's what we're um, trying to achieve. Yeah, that's that's yeah. great. Yeah. All right. So next one, if there was like heavy metal song about yourself, what would it be called? But it's made up. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I was at, well I, it's very loosely metal. Maybe Prodigy song, Twisted Firestarter. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's a good... Well, you know, run, run to the hills because you know, I live out in the middle of nowhere. How's that? We'll go yeah, that's that's good. that one. That's good. This is this <laughs> business going on in the interview because I might get arrested and put in jail. But over here, our new Prime Minister... They've got a twisted fire star starter with Keir Starmer's head in it on Twitter. It's fucking brilliant. It's brilliant. It's absolutely <laughs> well, I've brilliant. I've timed that. I've timed that one well because I it's haven't brilliant. seen it. So there you go. It's brilliant, but I can't put that on. <laughs> We're living no, in the communist no, communist state here. <laughs> yeah, you can you blame me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, can you then give us four words to describe the new album? Uh yes. Guitar driven melodic music. Brilliant. There's just five questions now, so either or either. So the first one is small instrument gig or festival. So I say again, Seb. Small so five questions, so it's either or either. So the first one is small intimate gig or festival. Festival. Kangaroo burger or beer? Beer. You have kangaroo burgers there. Very popular over here. Yeah, no, man. No, I'm not <laughs> touching that. No way. 
you can have that. <laughs> that you can have that and Fo- you can have that and Foster's, mate. That's no, that's yeah, no good. that's not even yeah. Australian, is it? It's not even Australian. James James Bogues, James Bogues, my friend. Beautiful. Right. Nice one. It's a bit early for me. <laughs> I've got a full day ahead. Um, and the girlfriend wants to go to the beach. <laughs> right. Fair so, enough. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, Foster's isn't even Australian, is it? That's just like a total insult. And it tastes, I hate Foster's. It's horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That needs a rewrite. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, do you have Castle Maine? You Castle Maine, that was from Australia. They want to ice like that. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, Castle Maine's uh, in Queensland. A lot of Forex stuff like that. Forex, all right. Yeah. Carlton, Carlton United and Castle Maine, a couple of big ones. Yeah. But Brim, Brimstone, we're all about the uh, the Tasmanian James Bogues, mate. We love it. We love it. Tasmanian, hey? That's different. All right, so what about – I'm still doing the five questions, but I'm just going to go off yep. a bit. Would you, like, consider having your own beer in the future? Which is the – Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Well, I, funny you say that. I uh, – not that long ago, I used to brew a lot of beers um, and I went into a bit of a mad scientist mode. And at one stage, I had eight different beers on tap. <laughs> what percentage? Yeah. Um, heavy and heavier. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I, I used to make a couple of middies um, for my lovely wife and, right. uh, you know, anyone that wanted to come over and have a, you know, a light one or had to drive or something like that. Sure. Um, but I, I haven't done that for a little while now. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, if I did a, yeah. <laughs> Sounds cool. All right, that's something definitely for the future then, brimstone beer. All right, so uh, where are we? So vinyl or digital? Oh, well, look, at my heart, vinyl, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. But I guess you... we're, forced, we're forced into digital, so, you know. Got no choice, man, yeah. Are you guys saints or sinners? Uh, we're brimstone, man. We're sinners. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the final, that's just yeah that's just straight up and the final one is i know the answer to this already acdc or rose tattoo oh man you're killing me i can't pick out of those two. <laughs> oh, dude well look <laughs> i've given acdc a lot of love so i'm gonna have to go off rose tattoo angry and the boys yeah love it man love it all right guys love the tats thanks man so, yeah, this one, right? I got this done weeks ago. It's supposed to be red. It's like the creation flag, but it's gone pink. So I think I've had like a re- bit of reaction to it. So I'm hoping it's going to go okay. darker because it's red. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Otherwise, I've got a pink arm. <laughs> pink tat. <laughs> it's unique. It's, it's unique. unique, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, man. So do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers and listeners? Uh, look, really, um, once again, just blown away with the support worldwide um, and reaction we have got to our first two singles. Uh, Pete and I are very humbled by that. We uh, really appreciate your support. Um, and, you know, we, we're seeing on the stats that that it really is a global picture, which is what we really, really want to achieve. Um, we've, As I said, we've got another three singles coming out between now and November 29th. Um, when our self-titled album Brimstone comes out via Art Gates Records. Um, so check that out. We'll have a lot of promo stuff between now and then. Um, we want to hit the road. We want to see you guys. And uh, the, lot, the, the new material um, on, in, in the live vehicle is getting it, – it's going pretty – it's going well. Going well. The, the pundas are getting amongst it um, in a fairly rabid sense, which is what we were aiming for. So we're looking forward to playing it. Life for you guys and uh yeah just uh keeping keeping the machine going <laughs>